So you find a home you love, you get it under contract, you go through all the inspections and they work out just fine, and then you have your appraisal and the appraisal comes in low. What can you do? Well, we're going to talk about that today, so stick around. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long and Foster, and today we're going to talk about what happens when the dream home that you've just found and gotten under contract doesn't appraise for the price that you've agreed to pay. We're going to talk about five different options to keep the deal together and then another option as well. Those options are going to vary based on a few factors like what type of loan you have and what kind of market you're in. Okay, so option number one, you can ask the seller if they're willing to lower the purchase price. That's the first step that normally you would take. And again, that may or may not be successful depending on the type of market that you're in. If it's a very strong buyer's market, you may have much more leverage. If it's a very strong seller's market, that may be quite a bit of a challenge because the seller may have other offers waiting in the wings who would be willing to purchase the home and waive an appraisal. Now you may stand a better chance of asking the seller if they're willing to lower the purchase price if you give a little bit too. So if you ask the seller to lower their price, another thing that you might consider is some other concessions that you may be to make as a buyer to help the seller to reach that decision. For instance, offer to let the seller leave behind items that they don't want to take with them and the buyer will take care of them. Option number two, depends on whether the buyer has the funds necessary, but you can offer to make up the difference between the amount that the lender is willing to loan and the purchase price of the home. Now that strategy will increase your down payment requirement because you will have to cover the gap between that appraised value and what you've agreed to pay for it. So that is more money out of the buyer's pocket at settlement. Option number three is that the buyer and the seller may negotiate some split of the cost between the appraised value and the purchase price. Say the gap is $20,000, perhaps the seller gives $10,000 and the buyer gives $10,000 and then the deal can still work. Option number four is that you could challenge the appraisal. You could work with your lender and ask them to challenge the appraisal. Provide some new comps that the appraiser may not have been aware of or considered in the appraisal and use those to support the purchase price of the home. There may be times when appraisers may not be aware of the level of activity going on in a particular market, and so bringing additional homes to their attention that they may not have considered may be beneficial. Option number five is that you could ask for a new appraisal. It all depends on how far off you think that appraiser's assessment of the value may be. And option number six, if all those other options don't pan out, is that the buyer and the seller may be able to walk away from the deal. If you can't reach agreeable terms between the parties, that may be the best solution available. Now, there may be any number of factors that go into determining whether any of these options may or may not work. So one piece of advice that I have for you is talk about what could happen if the home doesn't appraise when you're writing the offer or even beforehand if you can. Understand what your options are because sometimes when you're in the thick of things in the negotiation process and there are deadlines involved, you may not be thinking as clearly and if you can talk about that ahead of time and map out your options, you may find an easier path. As always, if you have any questions about the appraisal process or anything else related to real estate, feel free to give me a call at 410-881. 3122 or email me at brad at homesbyvesta.com and I'll be happy to discuss it with you. Thanks for watching.